field is set, ready to run. Stand by for a start. And they're racing. Give them a cheer, Australia, wherever you're listening. What a win in a cup we'll never forget. Yeah, welcome back to the Reggie's Punch Show. Three blokes who could have been anything but decided to have fun instead. Uh, before we get into it, everyone, remember, gamble responsibly and a massive shout out to Bluebet for today's episode. As usual, download that app and start punting on us. Yeah. Uh, on the true blue Aussie battler of a bookie. How good's that? The market's come out for the uh, podcast for our fight night today, and there's been a bit of market movement mm, to already. Say the least. <laughs> that, if that doesn't tell you that they're the true blue. That oh, they're getting behind that? us and just working they, with us to get the markets up, then what fucking they will? got markets for people who talk <laughs> that are just going to fight for entertainment. Yeah, punch on. Is wild. <laughs> and so they've, yeah, we'll, we'll run you through them because they've been up for most of the day. I think they went up about 10 30 yesterday as you're listening to this yep, in, the, yep, in yep. the morning. Yep. Um, Thursday morning they went up. Yeah. Quino and Moose opened up at a dollar eighty-five a piece. Currently, we're at seven thirty on Thursday night. You know um, what that is? That is a scared bookmaker there. Ooh, yeah, dollar eighty-five yeah. a piece. $1. Well, $1. Moose is a coward and hasn't showed his face, so it's a pretty yeah, hard no for judgment. Him. Yeah. That still pisses me off because mm. he's got some fucking high-level agency job. Oh, he thinks apparently. he's fucking Rey Mysterio. No, nah, uh-huh. well, he'll be there. Well, he's got to show his face at the press conference. Oh. At the fight night, anyway. He can't well, I don't, I don't think he'll who, want to show it after Quino's done with him. That's I want right. to know. I want to know what he does after this. I want to know what do you do that you think you're so important that you yeah. can't he better be show your face. A cut. fucking CIA agent or something. Honestly, okay, I don't and know he's not that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you no. what he is. He's the underdog because Quino has been belted into a dollar sixty-five. Has so, he? Yeah, from a dollar eighty-five. The boys have loaded <clears throat> Quino. He's 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 been wound in. Yeah. Next fight off the. Out of the uh, gates, we got Jace versus Das. Now, Jace mm. opening up at a dollar twenty six <laughs> favorite. They've obviously seen mm. the big red and yeah, just went. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there that, has been the hype, <clears throat> hype about fucking five leg. Oh, there That's is. Sure. There There's is a lot. I wouldn't say pressure because nah, it's, it's not, not really getting to me as pressure. But dollar twenty six, Das three. Not much value, but uh, well, you just got to look at the next one you're about to say yeah. because. Mm. He was this guy was well, paying less than you. Well, was. the next was. one we got the couple of the um, yeah, don't worry other, about yeah, that. we'll go. So, <laughs> should we go Cam Gibbo? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so we got Cam versus Gibbo opened up dollar 40 something, Gibbo, I think two dollars something, yeah, and Cam full of confidence wound has wound it into a dollar 26. <laughs> So there you go. Yeah, right. So, you know what I mean? Like there's so a couple to there. A, both a dollar twenty six. Then we move on to the. So I've I opened up at four dollars seventy five. Obviously, Blue Bet think one big one lands, which I yeah, disagree. I think seventy five. Get fucked. And it's been wound into two ten. Yeah. Today. So it's been slammed. There you go. So it's been people have, out. They've seen which I think that makes a lot more sense. That sort you of see thing. the value. Mm. Yeah. Because that's and uh, look at the end of the day, it's a fight. Fuck and right. anything can happen. Anything well, I think so. Obviously, the two tales of the story of that fight is I either don't get hit with a sledgehammer or I do. And obviously, yeah. Blue Bear think I do. Yeah, I think <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the boys think I don't. So, yeah, well, well, that's right. Maybe uh, Hummer's playing favourites. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe <laughs> he is. And then we've got the big G one has opened up underdog at two dollars twenty. Jake Archgold at a dollar sixty. <laughs> I think I'm. Uh, a bit short, actually. Yeah, <laughs> a bit short in the market. Mm. Yeah, yeah I, th- I don't think it's moved much. It actually, it might given have been, me a bit of respect there. It might have been. I think you might have opened at two ten, Grove. So yeah. a bit of money's gone on Jarch, but yeah. not crazy money. So, mm. but yeah, how cool is that? Did you it ever is. think that you'd be? Well, that's <laughs> literally on a punting. <laughs> no, I was going to say to <laughs> that's you, crazy. You've obviously I'm not fucking taking the piss out of you here, but mm. you've had a fair bit of stardom. Mm. Mm. Did you like when you look at yourself on mega a betting? Star. Yeah, yeah, you're a social media mega star. But yeah. when you look at yourself on a betting platform, do you? Go, that's pretty wild. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm Beautiful. not a. I'm not a. Be- like, I'm I've, not a boxing or a gambling superstar. So yeah. it is a bit... Uh... As soon as I saw it, I went, I just never thought <laughs> I'd see weird, myself eh? on a fucking betting platform. But yeah, so Reggie's fucking get behind it. Absolutely. Chuck it in. The Reggie's the, multi yeah. is... Oh, that Reggie's is multi. such fucking well, what's the pain, Reggie bro? Multi's what's the oh. Reggie multi pain, bro? Hang on. I'll go. <laughs> Let him know. Are we putting yeah. Quinn in? Yep. We're, we're not. Yeah. Is well, Quinno's fucking... Yeah, he has been wound. Been uh, wound. Quinn, Jace. 
Guys, Tom, while he's doing Jimmy. that as well, the $9.60. Pay- $9.60. That's value. That's that value, I think. 15 value. units oh, the I week at of least. <laughs> fucking <laughs> now, we can't, we can't oh, punt you can on boost that. It. No. We can personally boost can't it. punt Ooh. on that, but, you know, you'd be mad not to. And, guys, if you're worried, like, if you're not going to go there, if you haven't got tickets, the pay-per-view is sorted. So livecombatsports.com.au is where you go. It's under Podcast Royale on the 27th of the 4th. So go and get amongst it. Yeah. Get a, what is it? You, where, what's the website you go to? Livecombatsports.com.au. Yeah, yeah. And it's under podco- Podcast, Podcast Royale. Royale. If you yeah. just look at the live events coming up, it's yeah. fucking easy to find. Piece of piss. You Perfect. Can, uh, get it all set up. And, yeah, obviously make sure that your system, whatever system you run on is mm. going to work. Yeah, on it's day, an internet. You know? It's an internet one. So, obviously, if you've got a smart TV, you might be able to do it on there. Chromecast or on your phone, or Chromecast, like whatever. Yeah. So. You just work it out, you fucking... Big boys and girls. Get it sorted early. You don't want to be that bloke who hosts just, it. Yeah, imagine having, a, shits the having a party and then, yeah. fuck. Yeah, that's, that's right. Good. Just go and get it. Sort yeah. the shit out. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, yeah. She's a 4 p.m. kickoff. Four, I think 4.30, 4 o'clock, 4.30. It says it, on the, it says it on the pay-per-view, but I'm yep. pretty sure it's 4.30. Three I should hours. probably know that. I thought you might. I should probably know that. <laughs> I didn't try to set you up there. Was it? I tried to ask you a very reasonable I, th- I, I, I think it's four. I think it I is. Th- like gates open <laughs> Well, let, actually, let's say four because that way they're only <laughs> yeah, scratching their nuts for half an hour. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, so, what time is it, Jace? What is it? <laughs> 6.37. 6.30, right, eh? uh, No worries. But, yeah, anyway, guys, go have a look for yourself. Get ready. It's We're fucking pumped, eh? A couple of weeks Fuck to go. Both. There's been that every time. Yeah. When we see each other, you're either shadow boxing or talking about shit you're doing and just getting <laughs> excited for it. It's I'm fucking f- I I'm like I'll be honest with you, I'm over the build up. Mm. I'm fucking just I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's get in there. Same. A week yeah. and uh two two and a half weeks? Yeah, 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 yeah but sixteen two weeks days. from Saturday, yeah. won't it? Right. Well I've actually uh what's today's Thursday night? Tomorrow when this comes out, so today technically, mm. I've got me uh First session, first sparring session down the boxing gym. So oh, that's cool. Oh, you got yeah. out of bed. Heading yeah. down there with Nico. So yeah, good hopefully stuff. Because you've just been doing some skipping in that, eh? Yeah, a bit, of, bit of running. Yeah. Just, mm. There's no point in me going down there and fucking mm. trying to spar when I'm not fit enough, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so you've just been a bit of skipping. Yeah. Have you laid off the dog's eyes yet? We'll be into it. <laughs> I, I just want to be fit enough. I don't want to look like yeah, a fuck. I don't yeah. care what I look like. Good point. <laughs> no, that's right, mate. No, it's good that you're going in for your first spa. That's Should good. be right. No, it's a second. It's a second. Because oh, right. that first one we had was... Yeah, yeah. 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 On, the flats. on the flats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the painted <laughs> square. In painted square. <laughs> painted a square on the ground and no just No one swung. knew how to spa. We just swung. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. That was... <laughs> Fuck, that was funny. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, yeah, there's a bit of biffing anyway. Shout out to Bluebet. Like we said, how exciting is that? Yeah. Getting behind us all. Fucking That's got to just him. say true blue Aussie True there. fucking oh, blue. Who else is going to put their nuts on the line like that and offer mm. up a market for cunts who have never fucking no thrown one. one? No one would. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hey, uh, we'll move into a bit of racing uh, and... Yeah, punting. Mm. Unfortunately, sad news to start with. We've got Brave Mead, a uh, promising young horse, has passed away during the week. I didn't uh, look what happened, but obviously no good for the owners. Anything like that, you fucking hate to see it. Um, but, yeah. There's and for just, the horse, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, it's a bit hard to feel sorry for the horse now. Mm. <laughs> um, and then we've got uh, Cylinder has been retired to stud. The three-year-old has been retired. Are you kidding? Yeah. Fuck off. So Going to root. He's off to root. <laughs> oh, just a load of big How old? <laughs> three <laughs> years old. <laughs> well, yeah, that's his back end of his three-year-old. You're kidding. Wow. Wow. So I used to love seeing it in a race. Horses' like birthdays are very soon, so he ought to turn mm. four soon. But he got his group one, mate, in the new market. That's right. So it's off to see, start. See, that's a bit of nostalgia for me, Cylinder, because not coming from a massive horse person that knows a heap of names in that. Jason, J Mac, and Cylinder, <laughs> yeah, yeah. back when we first started, yeah, for some right. reason, those couple of races where he got on it, mm. that's just cemented Cylinder Had it black in my head. for over a year now. Yeah, Every well, he's done his race. work and now he gets to go and fuck. Good on him. Yeah. Imagine oh. that if you did a good job and they said, good on you, mate, now go and fuck. Yeah. Like, Imagine that's rugby league players getting that. <laughs> yeah. They go, you've had a couple good seasons, you won no, a premiership, win a grand final. go yeah. fuck. Yeah. fuck. Well, they do that at the Lions, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to win a premiership. You didn't even you have to win. That. <laughs> you just fuck. Boy, well, they're on at the moment, actually. Big right. game. I've tipped them, yeah, so hopefully they fucking show up. What's um? And then... 
<laughs> this is a bit of a stupid question. You know how there's dog years, like one human year is seven dog yeah. years? Oh, yeah, yeah. What's horse years, do you reckon? Because three-year-old, could it's they be dumb. like if they're about 21 in horse years? <laughs> or is he like 14 in horse years and he's just yeah, gone to fuck? I've never, I've never thought about that. How did we 3. make five? Three it, point, really? A ten year oh, ten year old horse is equivalent to a thirty five year old human. But how did we? How did we just make that so up? So was it three point five? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, we just want to such relate thing to dogs. Dog years. Well, like, yeah. years. <laughs> well, I think because they go average lifespan twenty <laughs> of a or human. something, yeah. and then the human seventy, so they average. Yeah, it out. I get it, but it's fucking. So bad. what does that mean? Cylinders <laughs> fucking at not? Is it? What's that? <laughs> Cylinder's fucking at 11 or yeah, something. Yeah, 10 and a half. What the fuck? That's an early start, but <laughs> that, that is very early. early. That is very early. <laughs> Good nah, on He wouldn't be rooting yet. <laughs> He's got to be fucking have his birthday first. What, sex ed for his 11th birthday. He, he, okay, mate, you're just going to jump on the back there? No, nah, he won't. Home. Quino, look up when they can fuck. <laughs> okay. Because I don't think they can fuck until they're a certain age. Well, like legally or... <laughs> <laughs> 16 of course he is. <laughs> Oi, get him off of that gun. He's only six. <laughs> horses can be capable of breeding from 18 months old, but oh. domesticated horses are usually allowed to mature to at least three years old. Yeah, oh, right. so he'll be rude. So, yeah, so they he keep him off. Fucking... So they normally keep him off till three. So, yeah, cylinder's prime. He is ready. Wow. He's ready, ready to fuck. But how good is that as an ownership group? You just go, yep. We got our group one, so now oh. you offer him up as a group one winning stallion. Yeah. Who wants to root? Mm, who wants <laughs> wow. to be pounded? And guess who might? Who mm. knows? Imperatrice yes. retired today. Today. Yesterday, what? as you're listening. Imperatrice really? has retired. Ten group ones and a shitload of prize money. She will now have her own foals and they will print as well. What so. distance are those two horses? They're sprinters. Should, are they're they both, both yeah. the same? Both sprinters. Well, Surely both pump a cylinder market. into <laughs> Imperatrice. Wow. Yeah. Oh, imagine. What? I'm sure it'll be in the in the works. It'll be a quick um, route. And then <laughs> think it over. <laughs> think it yeah. over's retired a couple of weeks oh, back as well. Oh, for fuck's sake, just retire all the cunts. <laughs> just as I'm starting to learn their names. Yeah. Fuck you off. know all three of them? What's it? Yeah. 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 So yeah, the only oh, and, I know, I don't know, and I know fucking six all up. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now I'm uh, he retired after he knocked off Fangirl and he so he won a group one for his final race, mm. which is good to see. So is that what happens, man? Like they get to that age. Uh, he was they, an old, he was old. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that like for different. some of these young guns, if they win a couple of group ones, that's the decision they make to say, Hey, we could retire it and definitely clean up. Fucking here. oath. If you if it's still got its nuts. Mm. And it wins some big three-year-old races. Mm. Fucking off yeah. to start. Trapeze Artist was the one who did it. Yeah. It won some massive races and you go, oh, this thing could be anything and then straight to start. Yeah, yeah. Because there's too much food. risk, man, yeah, when, you're, yeah, when yeah. you're running them. Yeah. And it's obviously good enough to keep its balls. Mm. Like, because a lot of them become geldings because they yeah, just yeah. can't behave. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to fuck. Actually, yeah. that's the latest we got off Yaddy <laughs> Pump. He's just coming off the end of his spell, ready to go back yeah, in yeah. pretty soon. And they, they were saying that, like, how's he looking with the nuts and that? And they said, no, he's behaving pretty well. Really? So, so Good stuff. for now, yeah. he's keeping them. Like, they're not like they're definitely coming out. He goes, no, he's still behaving all right. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh, I'd yeah, like that. that'd be unreal. I'd love it if he got to run with them in just to see yeah. if he yeah. behaves in that. Yeah, just yeah, for yeah. any sort of chance that the pump goes good. Yeah. yeah. And we can just pump him. Yeah. <laughs> well, he can just pump. <laughs> he can pump. <laughs> Imagine fucking at the sales in five years' time, that bloke's up there on the lectern offering him up, this filly coming in is by Yabby Pump. <laughs> <laughs> Yabby Pump side. Side by Yabby Pump. Uh, that'd be fucking, it'd be, it'd be pretty, I'd be, I'd be a pretty straight proud, away. I'd be a lot proud number, father. Lot number 861. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, righto. Um, Let's see how we went last week because I reckon we've extended our lead boys in the uh, oh, young gun yeah. set. Yes, we the have. boys have hit. Righto, boys, the group one TJ. So I'm going to have a unit each way on her as well. That's three units straight, number one, I wish I win, and one unit each way, number 14, Chain of Lightning. Keep it stiff, lads. Happy punning. On your barbs. For my last. We've got a three-leg NRL multi. Raiders playing the Eels on Sunday night this at is great Canberra. Mm. I've tipped Canberra to win. Oh, good. So I'm backing them in the multi at $1.80. Dead 
Danny Levi has scored three tries so far this season. He has. Because he just loves diving in. Yeah. And every time I put a multi on, just personally for a Raiders game, I go, oh, why is that cunt scoring? I never fucking back him. So you know what? How good I'm is doing that? it this time. Because I think the para forwards will get lazy around the ruck, close to that line, and he just loves the old white line fever. So he yeah. will just barge over. So you get $5.50 any time for that. Mm-hmm. And even if you don't back my multi, that's just personally, just put it in there. Trust me. Right. I eh? honestly am that confident on it. And it that feels was, weird that to say that for a while. Well, the the fucking back. But then there was more. That's right. And Mike Cassivo made his return last week and he just loves barging over and yeah. eating meat pies. So I'm backing him too. And they'll be paying 13 bucks. Oh, that's a great lesson. Anyway. Okay. What a. Yeah, so what? I was confused because you said the odds twice. But you were saying if you didn't want to put Sivo in. Just go right. I can't believe how yeah. much you absolutely pounded Levi. Because obviously I wasn't yeah. it. Like you properly. I could have easily like, just have said, yeah, Danny Levi, I don't know, just who gives nah. a fuck. But yeah, there was I, it was calculated on you he That's was gonna great. get over. You knew. <laughs> if you rode with me, you then fucking good on you. Yeah, because you were saying this one five fifty is value, but yeah. I'm putting Sevo in as well. That's where I, I think 550 was just for Levi. See, he has got... Just to score. Levi just to yeah. score was no five Raiders. 50. No Raiders. Ah. See, he's yeah. got insights into Canberra, though, and that's what we forget. His mm. brother's yeah, place. Yeah, because Corey. Corey. Yeah. And he's done... I think he's done a hernia, too. Three-leg yeah. Corey. Yeah. <laughs> but at least you've got those insights, and that's, that's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. He lets me know who's firing up a training during the week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, well... This is a segment coming straight up where I need a win. Uh, <laughs> the championships. We've yeah. decided that we're going to have five units a week, the three of us, and we're also going to include our listeners. Um, any sport, any race, anything, you got your five units. And we decided last week, Tommy, that if the listeners get a 15-unit return yep. or like, how do I say that, a 10-unit win, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So they they have to spend their five units though. Yeah, yeah. So they have to at least get 15 units back. Yeah. And then they go again yeah, the yeah. next week. Yeah, So because otherwise they'll, they'll get their turn and go for a fucking well, you, they'll get something paying two bucks. Fucking spray if they did that. five but, units yeah. on but myself I'll get, at $1.26. <laughs> I'll get it though. Get that's, it. that's value. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so unfortunately old Lukey Smith, I think he just shat the bed. Didn't, oh, even, didn't oh, even get close. Is it Lukey or Flukey? Flukey, yeah. Flukey oh, one week. Oh, one week Smithy. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be going, shut the fuck Didn't up. Didn't even get yeah. close. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Did he I, get hold? I, he got fucking hold, all right. Here we go. Just yeah, hold. Holy, holy. Oh, holy. Oh, we can't hold see. Luke still. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> you can hear the clap. Right. Bit of background. Here's what happened. Uh, he had the 12 legger. Yep. I put money on both of his 12 leggers, mm. but not his eight because his eight was all teams to win and mm. yep. no can't ever gets that right. So I went on his 12 leggers. First mm. one, no good. And then the next one, it was like, this is going to happen mm. because all the goals had been scored. The, the biggest one for me, I stopped looking at the disposal thing because I was like, he's got it. All he needs is St Kilda to win, but it was mm. a real close game. Yeah. And then it got to the end and I was like, he's done it because St Kilda have won. And then I see his oh. post oh, and yeah. I went back on the AFL app and it says S Bolton, 19 disposals. He had like 11 minutes. He didn't touch the ball. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it is ah, all he had to do was get it and just not even give reckon, it to anyone, just dispose of it. Do you reckon Lukey was just pacing around oh, the TV? Yeah. Like 11 minutes out thinking, I've got it, I've got it. Just like waiting for him to grab it and just going, where is this cunt? Oh, like, was he on the field? Yeah, he was in the forward line though. And that was the thing. Everyone's like, because they lost. Mm. And everyone's going, you, wouldn't you put your best player in the midfield? Yeah. Like trying to win the game. But mm. they left him in the forward line. And there was like... <laughs> It just shows oh. how fucking hard punting is because oh, there was yeah. twice he went to pick it up and sort of fumbled it and then he went to take a chess mark and dropped it. <laughs> so yeah. if, he had oh. took, Disposals. if he had to took that mark, he, he would have had to, to he would have had to dispose yeah. of it. Yeah. Unless he just held on to it all night. <laughs> Disposals are such like in theory you go, oh that's easy. They're definitely gonna, but that is a perfect situation of just touch the ball. Just get cunt. it. No, yeah, he is, man. Just but didn't. in all seriousness though, like good on you, Bruss. You fucking kicked them off. Oh, like yeah, you got them yeah, off yeah. the mark and you in made front. it. They're in yeah, front. Yeah, fucking yeah. Right. So they're, good on you. They're in front. Hopefully you, at the end of this month <laughs> when we put out the things. Uh 
There'll be a few more of us in the positives. <laughs> Hopefully, especially after this week. Um, I'm gonna. I'll kick us off. Yeah, we kick went, us we off. went two weeks in a row where Lukey kicked us off, and um, I had to fucking have a no dose. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll rip back in. Um, Buck, I need to win, as I said. Oh. I'm spreading the seed. I'm mm. spreading around. Yeah, yeah. I'm just racing though. I'm just racing. Yeah. I'm having a big swing on a multi at the end. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be some spoiler alerts for some segments coming up later. Yeah. But we'll start with Ash Run boys in the Sydney Cup. Mm. Two units on Ash Run has had the perfect prep. Uh, just absolutely perfect preparation for this. He had a win during that prep, so over 2,500. Yeah. He was good in the Tancred. He ran third, showing that he'll stay all day over that 3,200 metres. Six bucks fifty, I think, is... Super reasonable price. Yep. And then just before I move into the next two units, this is a huge G each way here because I'm not backing this horse. <laughs> but <laughs> just gonna number pump two, it. number two, you'll well remember it because Keto, the cup's king, as he was calling himself, this is what got the old boys off the mark because he backed a $34 oh. roughy oh, in the yeah. Auckland Cup. Marajan, it's come over to Sydney. So it's already run the 3,200 in the Auckland Cup. Yep. And now it's coming to try and win the Sydney Cup. So Keto's backed it when it won. It beat home Mark Twain, who has come to Australia since and absolutely hammered our field. Mark Twain? Mark Twain. Is that a horse? That horse Sounds like name. a bloke. Yeah, but yeah. it's the horse's yeah, name. Yeah, right. So Marajan's beaten it in the Auckland Cup and then Mark Twain's come over and fucking just blitzed him. And I'm yeah, go- right and it's paying twenty one dollars. Oh, <laughs> and I'm going. Well, you're not on it. And I'm going. What the fuck is going on here? What yeah. do the bookies know that we don't? But I can't get off Ash Run. I said I was going to follow you. You do prep. love it. <laughs> so oh, I might get on is that. Is that a little sniff that Keto is going to be? Sure, on that's a listener Surely. exclusive. That's where I'm sort of going. If, is he, if he isn't, that is a listener exclusive. Keats has got to yeah. be on it. Listener He's exclusive. G one each way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope I can one the. Cup. He'll put it in the fucking print clip next week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be in the spreadsheet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, I, I'm going to spend yeah. another two units yeah. on another fucking favourite of mine. Bendigo Race 9, number three, Foxy Frieda. Yeah, you do oh, like it. Uh, she is third up in the Golden Mile. She loves the track, actually. I wouldn't have thought she would add too many starts around Bendigo, but she's had three starts for two wins in a second. Mm. Um, loves the distance and... As the great man would say, and peaking. <laughs> so yeah. third up the mile, it's six dollars fifty the field, which means six fifty is the favorite. Yeah, so Fuck it's fucking no. and she's almost favorite at seven dollars. So yeah. I just think it's a great bet. It's a handicap though, so hopefully she gets in. She's got all in all right at the weights, but it's not, good barrier not or? great. Uh didn't look. Won't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Too good. Uh, two units on it at seven bucks, and then I'm going to have a one-unit swing on a multi. Yes. Beautiful. It's a big place one. I had wins and places in there, and I went, nah, fuck it. I'm just going to go. I'm all to place. Ash run the place in the Sydney Cup. Uh, actually, there is a win. Bold Bastille at $1.35 to win is value out the ass because this field is shocking compared yeah. to what it's been running against. Uh, Foxy free to the place. And then, spoiler alerts, here they come. Bendigo, race five, number two. She's all shenanigans to place into Pride of Jenny to place into Benedetta to place at Morfittville. Uh, you're getting $40 for that. Ooh, and nice. I'm going to put a unit on. The luck must turn. Very nice. The luck must nice, turn. Nice, mate. Very all nice. All those places I'm going to be having a bit on the nose as well. Mm. But that's me multi for the all show. Right. Good shit, bro. Do you want me to kick things off here? Go for <clears> it. <throat> go. Righto. So I was fucking, you know, had a few rough weeks and I just thought, just chill out, go back to the basics and just fucking Stick look at what, what you, you know. like and drill it. So yeah. that's what I'm doing. I've got fucking a couple of multis here. I've got first sharks versus bunnies. I just think the rabbitos are a steaming pile of shit <laughs> yeah, right man, now. They, are. they suck ass. And when the sharks play a team that sucks ass, they love pumping oh, them. Oh, here we go. So I'm going... <laughs> Cronella, 13 plus. I just think that they fucking, like, they get that. Very cool. Ren- uh, Ronaldo Mulatalo to score. And there's a bloke who's coming back who loves a dog's eye, Britton Nakora. Oh. He hasn't been there the for a while. Ball. He's coming back, running that line out right on the edge. So I've got him in there as well. That's paying 775 thanks to Bluebet. What are we having? Three units nice. on it. Mm. Now, 
I suck at Biffin, right? At, mm. at punting on Biffin, and that's why I've left it out of the old boys segment, and I'm having a swing in the championship <laughs> for your sake. So, nice. but UFC 300, I had to have a little swing on it because of what it is. So I've got two units on this one. I think Justin Gaethje wins by decision against Holloway. Holloway. Decision. Well, well, Holloway's well, never been knocked out. Holloway's True. never been knocked out. True. He is an absolute weapon, like with a chin of granite. Mm. So I just don't think he gets stopped. But I think Gaethje, like, lands more and wins. Yep. So I've gone in by decision. And I've gone an upset in the main event. I've Ooh. gone Jamal Hill by TKO. KO. Really? Well, this is the way I think, right? <clears throat> I haven't seen him fuck all. I've seen the fuck out of Pereira for the last mm. couple of years, and I just get brainwashed into like, yeah, he'll just win. But I've seen fuck all of Hill, and I always just go that in my head like Pereira, mm. and the other cunt always wins. So I'm like, well, fuck it. I'm going to go Jamal. I hope Pereira wins. But, you do? Yeah. So it's a it's a great for each way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Why do you hope he wins? I just like him. Okay. I think it's primed to see what he's done since he's come to the UFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just like like seeing yeah, him win. But, so those two things is uh, paying $9.72 and I've got two units on it. Fuck yeah. Mm. Nice. Very nice. But I want to know... Uh, I'll be backing fucking Holloway and yeah. <laughs> Pereira. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. At least they're not Aussies. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, righto. Mine starts Friday night. We've got the Broncos versus the Finns, the Battle of Brizzy. Oh. Very confident in this one. I've got a three-leg multi. I'm going Broncos, minus five and a half. So... They'll win by a try or more, definitely. Mm -hmm. Jesse Arthurs, any time. Uh, he loves scoring when he doesn't knock it on three centimetres from the try oh. line. Won't talk about that too much. And uh, the bloke we pretty well sucked off pretty hard on Tuesday, Hammer. Mm. He just glides across the field. I think he'll get in some time. glide. That'll pay $6.50. So I'm throwing four units on Ooh. that one. And then swinging for my last unit. Yes, it's the same game, two-leg oh. multi, but it is a bit of a calculated swing, in oh. my opinion. We've got Waz versus Manly this weekend. Two-legger. There's two forwards from oh. each team that just love meat pies. Can I guess them? I know. <laughs> guess them. Surely you know the guess Manly. Surely you know the Warriors one. I reckon you know the Warriors. And you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fanua well, Blake. And Ola Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. It's paid 26 bucks to throw my last unit on that's that. That's fucking all like Fanua Blake will score early. Yeah. He'll just fucking barge over, and then they will pump Hamole as they always do. And I saw that and it went $26. Mm. Those two score a lot more, especially for Noah Blake, than you think. So I went, fuck it. He does, Yeah, man. cool. I, I like picked that. Danny Levi, so I fuck it, <laughs> I could pick anyone. The fucking yeah. bikey. <laughs> yeah. The miniature Now he's bikey. just throwing darts at a fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, fucking yeah. get on it. Nah. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, we should have let you pump that up, actually. Mm. Well, no, that was good. Cause well, when it wins. It was predictable. Yeah. No, that's I, I really like that bet, yeah. but especially like twenty something bucks too. Twenty for no, for no like result or anything. It's just yeah, those yeah, boys yeah, just yeah. A couple of tries. How good's that? A couple big boys going. It could for be fucking, yeah. Could be fifty to ten, and you still get it. Mm. <laughs> How good's good that? Stuff. Right, well, we'll hear from our listener this week, Sammy Dwyer. Sammy uh, didn't Sammy hear Lala. like where he's from or anything like that. I just he he sent it through. Um, to Quino, so we'll see how he goes. Mm. Fucking know. G'day, Reggies. Now, I couldn't find the market on Jarchi knocking out G1 Bedwetter in round one, so I had to find something different. <laughs> I'm heading down to DKC this weekend, watch Paraverse Cowboys, Ooh. and I'm going to do a Groper special into a Jace and bet against my own team with a five leg multi. <laughs> so we're going to go with Cowboys minus five and a half. Neither of these teams like tackling much, so over 46 and a half points. <coughs> Cowboys to run rampant on Parra's new left edge, so felt any time, did any time, and Simonson running into Sevo's corner to score any time. At the time of recording, it's paying 21 bucks on Bluebet. Shout out to me, Reggie's mate, Shawnee Barry, and up the listeners. Can't, if that wasn't for the Simonson, I'm not <laughs> sold on that, but really love that bet. Because I've been doing a bit of studying yeah. too, and that new side from, mm. um, I think, is Morgan Harper. Yeah. He Sean said Sevo's corner, but that was a part of the ground, I mm. assume, because Sevo got dropped. But oh yeah, so. I reckon that's a fucking, <laughs> that is not a bad bet. That yeah. isn't bad. In my opinion. Overs, he's spot on with. It's going to be a fucking try fest. Well, yeah. I uh, I looked at trying to put a, a footy leg. Mm. Either, of, either code, mm. a footy leg in there somewhere mm. into one of my bets, but... 
all the games, I'm just like, I didn't know what to do. Like, I Manly, know, Manly are going yeah. to New Zealand, and you're like, oh, the Warriors should probably win at home, but Manly are playing well. It's and tough, then you eh? got Para at home against the Cowboys, who ha- can't defend but mm. can attack. And they got no Moses, and I'm like, oh, fuck. I found it very <laughs> tough in the AFL this week. Mm. I've been liking to sprinkle in a couple of multis. I looked at them all, and I just went, no. Nah, but how's the uh, Grope special into a Jace? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's fucking <brilliant>. great call. <laughs> that's that's great, isn't it? <laughs> that was a beautiful fucking recording. <laughs> yeah. 39 seconds. Well, I heard that. About 40 seconds. 39 seconds. Oh, I reckon my favourite so far. He understood yeah. the assignment. Good. He give us a he give me a clip yeah. straight up. Yeah. <laughs> give me two. Yeah. <laughs> and then got, got it over and done with. Yeah. It's fucking right. perfect. Quick, and he quick, gave a shout out to his mate. Quick drive by shout out. Yeah. Five leg. <laughs> fucking <laughs> bang. <laughs> fucking eight. Good stuff, Sammy. You're on you, Sammy. Um, oh, uh. you, everyone who jumps on and gets a part of that too, thanks heaps for, for getting involved. Yeah. Well, That's the whole point, and we fucking love that you all get involved every week and actually want to be a part of it. So yeah, it is. Brilliant. Keep it up, yeah. Keep fucking it up, nice. and uh, keep the fucking banter up too. Oh mate, the RRLC is brilliant. Yeah, fucking everyone's hooking in. Oh mum, the boy. I just keep looking at your jerseys. Oh, I know. I, I, just, I like catch myself that. staring and at and your jerseys. It just every looks fucking so fucking good. I can't, still, I can't good. believe that fucking thing you put up the other day. Oh yeah, yeah. Where you done got Yana's back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about Set that? the back? Oh, we filmed this and just steamed in, mate. One take. Wait, how's this? <laughs> Jace, I don't know if you saw it. I said, Oh, it I got nailed. <laughs> I got fucking nailed. So on uh, Instagram, <laughs> a bloke, Nico, Nico Matt, I don't know. His ma- name must be Matt Nicholson or something. Nico Matt said, <laughs> Body shape of a HB pencil these days. <laughs> <laughs> Just got pumped, eh? Oh, yeah, fuck, that was good. Oh, fuck, it was I good. I saw one bloke on TikTok, I think, say, oh, that was shit. Yeah, no, it, yeah. It, like, it actually well, said, it that was fucking shit without anything. And I thought, copy. <laughs> fucking sorry, son. Sorry, mate. Sorry you didn't like yeah. that. What you want to do is you want to go to their page and hit unfollow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. And then if you want to not see it, yeah. if you're in the RLC, fuck off. Mm. Yeah. But uh, no, it's um, it just reminded me though. I just need to give it a plug because yeah, these yeah, things April are 17th. fucking unreal. April seventeenth, uh, thereggies.com.au at six pm. Yeah, they're going to be for sale. There was there was actually someone who said if I miss out on one. I'm gonna like like put like a threat there if he misses out, and I just commented and said, did you? "We'll be there at six, you silly cunt." <laughs> did you say yeah, that? I did see that. Yep. Because <laughs> yes. normally you don't comment. No, and not much. Do I, I'll, I, yeah. I just sort of saw it and just thought it's a good. I just like going in to give him a clip every now and yeah. again, not just a little. Boop. Yeah, <laughs> fly in. <laughs> fucking. And that well, was and that was it. Like when someone goes, oh, I wouldn't want to miss out. It's like, look, bro, if you're there at six on the dot, ready to go, and you miss out, you're then you're warranted in your with a fucking spray. court. You're as good a chance as any <laughs> if you're That's there right. at six o'clock right. on the seven. Eight. But if you roll in at quarter past yeah. and then you blow up at me that it's not there, I'll say, when we are there, son. Yeah. You we will. have given you yeah. weeks and weeks of constant Months. reminders mm. of and, 6 p.m. And April look, 7th. if I had my time again, I probably would order more seeing the reaction of everyone yeah. with them. But, but fuck me, how do you know? That's right. So all we're saying, right. don't fuck around. We're doing our best. <laughs> right, eh? We're doing our best. We are. We're trying. <laughs> hey, uh, speaking I've of, got mine. So. Speaking of giving someone a clip, <laughs> it's time for the B1 yeah. versus B2 <laughs> yeah. segment. Oh, yeah. uh, are you we, willing? No, we know Polly. No. <laughs> He went well. Stays in the pocket. He went yeah. well. Not in the. I see someone actually said, oh, there's a new B1, but they got confused. It was in the group oh, one segment. It was in the yeah. group one segment. And you, they both they both were unsuccessful in the B1, B2. So you reckon he'll be growling just in the his group one, or do you reckon he'll just come in barking at or everything? That's a good point, actually. Do you think? Uh, yeah, we'll have to find out, but we're going to have to hear from B1 first, which yep. is still Button. Reggie's TBRB1 here, rolling into this weekend, done all the form today, sat down, had a coffee, and I think I've found a few winners for all the punters out there. Nice. I'm going to start nice and early. BR or Brisbane, race two, number one, Itchy Band. Chris oh, Waller, uh, Jimmy Orman rides, uh, has a lot going for it. It's a three-year-old 2,000 metre race. Uh, I think it's made for this horse. He's already been up around this distance. A lot of these horses will struggle at the distance and I think Jimmy Itchy Orman Bun. will steer this home at $2.35 uh, the ooh, win. Ooh, ooh. I think I'm going to have four units on it. I think it's a good thing. I think it'll kick 
the day off for all the punters there and give them a bit of money to splash about for the rest of the day. And then I'm going to go a multi because we know I'm a slut for a multi. And here it is, punters. Brisbane, race one, number one, Mashani Lily, the place. Sydney, race nine, number one, a tissue, the place. Ooh. Sydney, race 10, number four, Tashi, the place. Ooh. Off to Bendigo, race nine, number four, Macram, the place. That's a four-leg place multi, paying up at about $19.80 at the minute. I think that's good shopping. I think shopping. if that gets up, that'll keep B2 back at B2 for a fair while yet, and that's what we're looking for. <laughs> good luck. Happy punning. And remember, the Moya. The fucking Moya. Oh, Prime. Prime. Good prime. shit, prime. Prime. He's gone to uh, Foxy Frieda's race there and back mm, Macram. The place, though. Just the place. The place. Uh, which is fine. I like his bet first up. I had a look at that itchy bum. but um, <laughs> Itchy bum? I uh, steered away. But mm. I like it. I thought he was just going to slap the five units on it, which Ooh. was probably, you know, maybe maybe he should have, maybe he shouldn't. Maybe he'll get the place. Time multi. will tell. He's a slut for a multi, as he oh, says. Right, uh, we'll hear from the B2 TJ Barbary. Reggie's. Well, B1 versus B2 this week. Um, Sounds a bit flat. Well, boys, uh, tell you Barb's had an absolute Barry Crocker this week. Uh, Pest from another podcast rung me the other night while I was in the shower and uh, my phone vibrated off the ledge in the shower and uh, smashed into a million bits on the shower floor with the water running on it. So, oh, I cannot I mean, believe. Tell you what, the luck, of, uh, the luck of the draw with phones and me in this podcast since I've joined it, it's not, uh, it's not going too well. But anyway... This week, Maybe boys, I'm going to break my cardinal rule. I'm uh, going to go to Durban, race six, He's going number to back 12, one of his. Apophis. He's backing one of his. Trained by L.J. Goff. Oh. Strapped by yours truly in T. Barbary. Boys, this horse has got more ability than he knows what to do with. It's just his manners let him down every now and again. He can do things that are a bit silly and a bit fucking strange. But I'm telling you now, if this horse turns up and behaves himself on Saturday, forget last start, put a pen through last start. He got cut in half in the start. He got cut in half around the bend. He got cut in half up the straight. But if this bloke turns up on Saturday, he could be fucking anything and they won't see which way he went. <laughs> and it's $7.50 and $2.40. He's got to be the best bet of the weekend for mine if you want to take the risk. I'm going to have two units to win, three units to place. Doombin, race six, number 12, Apophis. Barrier four, Georgina Cartwright to take the reins. Knows him like the back of her hand. Get on. Keep it stiff, lads. Happy punning. Oh, he that is huge. Absolutely poured every gun into that. Yep. Good on him, though. Yeah, like, like, he's like, done in, it. He's, he hasn't gone and done it, which makes me pumped about it. I will be getting on that because like, he's never he, done it. He hasn't done yeah. that purposely to pump up his own stuff, but he yeah. goes, I like this one. And I'm going to steer. If he it. said every week, like, oh, this is yeah. racing, boys, you've yeah, got to get yeah, on yeah, it. It's yeah. one of my horses, but you know something. It's never up. been done. If he's breaking his rule, it's never been done. And he's throwing all the fucking And imagine eggs if it comes off, oh, everyone oh, will just be itching for his next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Um, I've got on him. I can't believe I wasn't even going to mention the phone situation, but he just did. So did he say he had it in Do the you shower reckon, with him? So now we're going to talk about it. Sorry, mm. Barbs, but he was fucking pulling himself for sure. Why else would you have a phone? <laughs> yeah, propped up. It was in the propped shower. up on the vinegar, <laughs> or he's and listening he's to a bit of tunes or something. <laughs> yeah. he's, I just couldn't believe that was the story so you run with. I said you could have told me fucking anything because I wasn't there, but you've run with. You were in the shower. And your phone because normally the phone doesn't come the in, skin off like your as dick. in because like I'd leave it on the basin outside of the shower normally. What but if you're watching something? Yeah, if you have it planted up against the wall <laughs> and you're just ripping the skin off it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I reckon. Well, and good on you, Barb's. If that were you, if that's what you're doing. Well, if you're doing that, that's fine. Hey, we've all been there. Yeah, but literally could have told us anything. Mm. Like. It was on the kitchen table, but he said threw no, it off his balcony. I again. was in the shower well, mate, and it vibrated shit, off Bubs. the ledge. He doesn't, he doesn't talk shit. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Talk to me. Look at me in that tone of voice. <laughs> 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 nah, go right on, no, Barbary. There's the segment. I'll, I'll be on pumped. that. Yeah, I'll be on fuck that. yeah. It's never mm, been done. Absolutely. It's the first. And uh, geez, I hope it runs well now. I really hope oh, it runs well. Oh, for his well. sake. Or oh. it gets 
like you, yeah. Like he said, there's a risk in it. He plays up. Yeah, that's what he said. If but us. if he behaves himself and he's switched on on the day, he's going to be very hard to beat. Could Even be anything. He, he said anything. Could be anything. Could be anything. But does he decide? So that to means have fun that he instead? could be a shit cut. Oh. Does he decide Is to he have fun Reggie? instead? <laughs> Time will tell. Time will tell. Right, yeah. uh, let's uh, move into our group one segment. Every Ooh. week there's a group one on boys uh, and girls. Everyone's going to have a crack at it. So we're going to hear from everyone in this segment as per usual. We'll all give our tips. Uh, we've got four group ones again. Day two of the championships in Sydney. Sort of wraps up their autumn carnival this this day. So last week you got the TJ and the Doncaster. They're your two big races. And then... This week you've got the Sydney Cup and the one that Five Legger, son of the great G1P, aka Red Producer, <laughs> has chosen for us. Jace has picked the Group One Queen Elizabeth Stakes. Mm-hmm. It's run over two thousand meters at Ranwick, uh, and like I said, it's a race that just caps off the autumn. Oh, I'm so one, keen so. to see what everyone goes here. I think like, I'm, I'm genuinely pumped to just hear what everyone reckons. Yeah, perfect race to pick because we've seen a f- lot of the yeah. horses in this race run That's through right. autumn and the grand finale. Who's yeah. going to come out on top? Some um, horses in this race that we've seen and do it like a dollar something all out, like a fair, like at a fair price. Obviously. Because of the distance they're running and just where they're at, but yeah, Brightside. you're talking about Mr. Brightside. <laughs> yeah, there. Like a sure. dollars a yeah. Day, that's nine. Getting nine. double figures. Like or if something. you ever mm. said, when's the last time you saw Brightside at those? Yeah, probably Cox like, Plate right. last year. That yeah. was it. But um, look, some big names have won this. Martin Power won the race. Lonro won it. Winks won it three years in a row. And then I don't know if you just remember this, but Adabe. It was a European horse. He won it two in, two in a row. He had some awesome battles with Very Elegant over the years. He was unreal to watch because the jockey would be fucking up it, like from the 500, shoving this thing along. Like <laughs> you just going, this is going to run last for sure. Yeah. But that was how he, he raced. Just belting it. He true. needed that fucking stroke up from the five. Yeah. And it would be the whole way down the straight just feeding it, true. going, come on. Not barely even hitting him. Just yeah. Pushing, you know, and yeah, it was from yeah. so wow. far out. And every start you go, oh, he's fucked. And then you just win. So he won the Queen Elizabeth twice in a row. Um, that was only a few years ago. Um, oh, yeah. Dubai Honours win last year was unreal. And I can't believe it hasn't come back to try and win the race again because it smashed Animo. Like, smashed Animo into the I ground. remember that. And we know yeah. what An- – Animo was at the peak of his powers then. So Had Dubai on a ran in Australia prior to that? Had a start before that, yeah. yeah. And won that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, there's no rain forecast at all. Should be a beaut of a day. Quick shout out to the fucking track managers down there uh, at Randwick because the amount of water they got in Sydney on Friday night – Saturday morning. <laughs> See what happens when we mention Sydney? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I thought the chair broke. <laughs> no, no. No, no, he just shit himself. <laughs> no, some, that water, mate, some of the footage I saw of people walking, like Peter Moody put up a thing of him. He was at the track at 4 a.m. Mm. and he was in like shin deep water. And you just going, hell. you're not racing. You know, there's no way you're racing. By 10 a.m., the sun was out and they ended up on a klutzy nine, not even a 10. And then it even got better and it got to a klutz eight. Wow. And that at 4 a.m., it was it, flooded, man. Like was that after flooded. a few races as well? Yeah, the it got track better. Would have just been, That's wow, pretty good, I Yeah, man. It was unbelievable. So them. they've done a, done a great job there. Now, I'm going with the uh, KISS method this week. Keep, Keep it simple, stupid cunt. <laughs> Silent <laughs> seat. Mm. Um, prior to Jenny, fourth up, two thousand meters. Should we have a quick look at the market actually before? Let the boys know what Bluey have got going again too. Yeah, They've taken on be. the fave in that the last couple of fucking uh, weeks and get away with it too. So I reckon yeah. it's time for the punters to hit them back. It's here. time for the punters to get it's one. Time back. for the Getting fucking punters. Um, as we said, we got Mr. Brightside. He's at ten dollars. He's the. Uh, it's a wait for age. So all these. Uh, males are paying, are uh, paying, have got 59 kilos on their back, and then there's some mares with 57. And there is a, a cult who's going to run around and in Che Wolf, and he's got 55 and a half. So, bright side, Cascadian, he won the Australian Cup last start. You've got Lindemann and Buckaroo, eh, don't know. Kovalik is a chance. And then Pride of Jenny and Via Sestina, they're the two interesting runners. You've got the the import, who's now trained by Waller. 
And then you got Pride of Jenny who gives you gives herself every chance, every start, yep. being trained by Kieran Ma. Mm-hmm. And then there's another import down the bottom there called Place du Carousel. Now, there's been a bit of chat about that mm. uh, in the in the market. So I don't think the gap between Via Sestina and Place to Carousel should be what it is. Two thirty for Via Sestina and fucking eleven dollars for the other one. So wow. um and it's a, it's run second last start to Via Sestina. So I just think that's a crazy gap in the market. But what I'm gonna do <laughs> is keep it simple and go prior to Jenny, she's fourth up, uh fitter now. Hopefully you can kick that little bit harder and hang on rather than get done at the 50 meter line. Mm-hmm. Um, I think what turned me off the favorite was the I heard an old theory that you back these uh, imports straight off the plane. As soon as they get off the plane, first up in Australia, bang, you back them because they fucking jump out of the ground. Mm. And then they go flat second up and then third up they're ready to go again. So I'm, just, I'm sort of trying to... Hope that Turned it falls. Hope Sistina. it falls away because if it shows up, it'll just win. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm going to have a little saver on Kovalika. One unit on Kovalika to win at twenty three dollars. Nice, not bad punting. Yes. Like what are your thought, What are your thoughts? Because obviously Cascadia and you were on it last start. Yeah. Was that his grand final? I think it was his grand final. Like this is obviously a big spoiler for what I'm going to be going on, but that was that race. Cascadian, unreal. Yeah. Like that was its last. It's an old fucking horse. Had all I the favours. that was all the favours, worked for it. Had the perfect It's not going to back it up. Yeah. Yeah. Not going to back it up here. And the fact that prior to Jenny, how fucking close it was to mm. winning. Fuck, it's a good horse. Oh. And it just, just led the whole way. And now it's like, oh, you know, the 2000 meters was a bit of a question mark, but it's obviously got that fitness now. It's done it before. They're going to look at how it ran and went, how can we do that 50 meters better? Yeah. And I think it's primed and ready for this. So, yeah, yeah. I'll just say it right now, I've got five units on Five Pride, units Jenny. on Pride. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I think it I just like leads it. whole I way just think um, I like having the saver on number five, Kovalika, because it gets to that 2,000 metres now. <laughs> but it just hasn't really had done anything for mm. me, this prep, and I'm just waiting for it to go bang. Um, and I think, uh, like, it raced last week, so – on the quick back up into a Queen Elizabeth is not ideal, no. but um, yeah, hopefully it can fucking How, surprise me. You mentioned it before, Tom. Like, Brightside was always a dollar something yeah. favorite. How quickly it's taken like a third and a fifth, and now everyone's turned off. Yeah, it. I know, but it's the if the it distance. ran it, yeah, if it ran at sixteen hundred yeah, or fourteen hundred, yeah. I reckon it would be down in threes. It's just yeah, weird yeah, yeah. scrolling through in any race and seeing yeah, that Brightside, name with yeah. double. You know, yeah, you're not wrong. But um, I think I'm going. I, I do like Pride of Jenny. There was just a horse on here that I couldn't, like for the price and looking at a bit of form, I didn't go and watch every race the last fucking five starts or anything. But that place to Carousel. Carousel? Yeah. Carousel. Carousel. Yeah. yeah, I just like it, man. And Tommy Berry aboard, I really like him as a jockey. And I just think there's a bit of value. And I'd like to just get a fucking double-digit win. So 100%. I'm going all five units. On the nose. On the snot. Yeah. Ooh. Fuck yeah. Well, <laughs> I, just, swing. Mate, I just reckon there's fucking, there's no reason why it can't fucking win. If you look at them two, <clears throat> the eight and the ten, via Sestina and place to carousel and tell me that there's a fucking $8.70 gap, I'll just be like, yeah. come on, mate. Fucking hell. Eight, What's like, happened there? Anyway, it was good. Via Sestina was very, very good. Uh, first up. So but, will hey. it be, will it be those two horses, prior to Jenny and, Carousel out in front, Carousel. leading Carousel. Yeah, oh, it'll be like this. The classic Jenny will be. We'll just leading. Buck up <laughs> and then, and yeah. then the the Carousel. He'll bring up the uh, the chasing pack. Mm. He'll lead the, the but chase. But I mean, I think both of those horses won't get stuck behind. Fucking, no, fuck no. Yeah, Jenny especially. Which I sort of Barry like having three. a horse like that in there, just going. At least I know I'm not getting stuck up. Yeah, dot. yeah, yeah. Like fucking Espiona <laughs> did last week. Let's bring that up. <laughs> fuck, I'm furious about that. Eh? <laughs> Jess. Well, uh, just give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> like we mentioned right. before. Um, yeah, so Blue Bet offering for the yeah. Queen Elizabeth Stakes. Prior to Jenny, top two finish, $3.50. $3.50 for top two. Top two. And you're getting $4.20 to win. So like, download the Blue Bet app, me. get amongst that. Because I honestly think worst place, we get a repeat of what happened in yeah, the Australian Cup. Yeah, it's done. I think that, fuck, we should get on that because 
She might get wound in. Can I do She's, one unit on that? <laughs> She's four dollars twenty now. If she gets wound into three eighty or something, then the three fifty for top two is a no brainer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. Definitely, yeah. that's it's value. That is definitely value. There. Yeah, I think they're getting a bit cheeky. They are. They're getting oh, a yeah. bit they cheeky cut. because they've done it twice they now. Got, and got away with it. Stormboy and pear trees. Yeah. Yep. So yep. now yep. they're going. Let's go We're in. Favourite. Yeah. That was so, cheeky. So fucking boys. Good Hit on them, them though. Hit up. Up. Fucking. Yeah. Um. We'll hear a couple or however many we can, but we have got Grabber's Greyhound <laughs> coming up very Ooh. soon. Ooh. Uh. Who should we hear from here? Keats. Yeah. Go. Yeah. yeah. We'll stick yeah. with the original formula. Reginald. The QE Stakes shapes as a very exciting race, and I'll be having my own little saver on Keto's tip from last week, Kovalika, just in case. Yeah, he relishes this distance, but I'm very wave. unsure about the quick backup against this high-class field. The horse I've come up with here is another European raider outside of the favourite in a mare called Place to Carousel, number 10. Very exciting mare who comes with great credentials. Overall record is exceptional. Two from two, second up. Loves the distance. T. Berry to steer. Friedman Stables are firing all over the country at the moment. So I'll be having five units to win at $11. Let's go, Until Kato. next week. Happy putting. Stay safe. Beautiful. Love There's that. That sounded stuff. way better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to Keto's reasoning while we're on it. That's why we're on it. That's why we're on it. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. Here, we got time. Have we got time for yeah. the great man? G1P. 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 Please, G1P, be on it too. Oh, yeah, oh, just quickly, sure I was telling the boys before, whenever Pedro does his recordings, he sends them through to me, I send them to Quino, and he usually just labels it, old oh, boys, here's that recording, and then G1, here's that recording. This week, he's done... Oh, boys, yep. And then he's gone and called himself G1P. <laughs> the whole segment. <laughs> well. G1P. Well, look, I... I feel uh, like you're allowed to say that yeah. when you're at his level at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're allowed to lip. Earth. And say what you want. You're allowed, to, yeah. you're allowed to lip. You're allowed, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm all about the fucking just nicknaming yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Self-proclaimed. <laughs> well, when I let other cunts do it, I get stuck with groping. <laughs> <laughs> So I gotta do it myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck, that's good. Have we got time for the G1P? We do, we do. We got heaps. Right, oh, Group One oh. Racing, the Queen Elizabeth Stakes, two thousand meters. Let's go. Righto, oh, this is a another fucking hard one, but hey, they ain't trying to fix something that isn't broken. So I am whacking three units on number two Cascadian. Oh. The old fella, the old last cunt. few rides have been awesome. So, fucking, let's punt away on it. An old boy let's go again, Cascadian, three units. Thanks to Lou Bebe, nine bucks. And with my remaining two units, I'm going number 11, uh, Seal Wolf. Can okay, you Wolf. pronounce it? Yep. That'll I'm do. sure I'll be corrected. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. just been losing two last two races to Riff Rocket. Not mm. by a lot. And, you know, it's going to chew up these meters. Don't need 10 or 11 horses in it. Yeah, $18. Blue better going to give me for that. So two units on that, three units on Cascading. Righto. Attack. Righto. Oh. Before we hear from Rocket, we got 20 seconds until the grey hound for tonight runs. Right on. Dapto, race five. We're going back to proper what we know here. Yeah, yes. fucking yes. nice. Ryan's cleaning service. Yes. Race. Yes. <laughs> Over oh. the 297 at Dapto. Fuck yeah. Number four, all for Irish, is the uh, okay. hound's Ooh. name. Ronald, Ronnie Allcock trains him. <laughs> And he's been fucking Pork. sired by Fernando. Oh, stop he's it. He's won three times from box four. Uh, he should have some early speed to hopefully hold the dog that's in box eight out. Uh, that's the plan. I think Tom and I are quickly loading. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting on. Hopefully big Ronald Alcock has got fucking uh, all for God. Irish fucking just <laughs> barred up and ready to go. What a name. Come on. Right up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, betting close. Oh, no. we're behind. I've missed. Oh, anyway, hopefully that's that right. is I'm a, there in spirit. That's an omen. Moral win. Oh, look, I'll happily not win if it wins. Just, Come on, let's just go. Just ping it out. Ping Number it. Four. Come on, Irish. Just ping it, Irish. 
The big oh, he's, oh, he's pinged a bit. Oh, get through. Oh, get through. Get through. Oh, get through. Oh, get through. Oh, Great start. Take his take his shot. Oh, yeah. Go! Go! go on. On. This Hold is this. taking them all. Hold it. Go, buddy. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Yeah. 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 We're back, oh, baby. Woo. You oh, are kidding back. me. <laughs> yeah, now I'm off. Oh, <laughs> he's paid seven dollars. Oh. Get fucked the big old cock. No. no. I got on at four dollars sixty. At least yeah, you got same. on. What did he pay? Oh, five fifty. He paid five fifty. Yeah, that was brilliant to watch. Just oh, this incredible. Whoever out was behind boss. him just took out the field. Yeah, <laughs> that took was the perfect. Look at him, Ronald Alcock. Oh, oh you yeah, little Alcock all wins. That is brilliant. I'm. <laughs> Did you get on? <laughs> yeah. So I just got on. We were, we were listening. I to had, Jim. 20, I had, had Tom. twenty on there, just hitting it, and it went nah, that <laughs> oh. close. That's um. Anyway, that's what right. we'll do is, is we'll blame G1P for that. Mm. Yeah, he took too long. <laughs> that's brilliant though. There's another. There's one in the bank, boys. See, go back to Fuck what you know. Nose. Back to what you know. The Fuck, that's good. Cleaning that's service. honestly what you want in a greyhound race. Eh? Yeah. Get out early and then let the other let cunts the others just fucking just be dogs. Fuck it all up for themselves. Mm. You beauty. Let's hear from Rocket. <laughs> Still the group one segment. Yeah. Boys, punters, Queenslanders, Rocket trophies, raring to go. Group 1 tip this week is Ranwick on Saturday, Race 8, Queen Elizabeth Stakes. I'm going Horse 7, Pride of Jenny. She was unlucky in the Australia Cup. I think she'll go one better. She's in form. Five units at $4.20. Jump on her, stay hard. Beautiful. Yeah, you can't argue with it, can you? Good punching. Like uh, I was saying, it will give a sight and just hope it's fit enough to hang Mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Right, oh, no. let's go to Button or Barbs, whichever you fucking desire. Surely we'll get a bit of trout in here. Yeah, surely <laughs> from from B two. He was too on. calm in the B one segment. Yeah. Reggie's Group One racing this week: the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. Small field of ten to go around, and uh, look, I'm going to run through them quickly. Uh, Mr. Brightside can't run the distance. Cascadian too old. Buckaroo <laughs> not good enough. Lindemann um, not good enough. Kovalika a good each way chance. Uh, you know, maybe not the preparation on, on the quick backup, but uh, still a nice horse. Zarek not good enough. Pride of Jenny. Uh, distance query, good tough mare, but uh, will set the speed. And uh, like I say, she's a tough mare, but distance query. Via Sistina, uh, short price favourite. I'm going to go against her because uh, I'm going to look for a bit of value. And uh, look, I think things were were given to her with the slow slow tempo last start. This start, Pride of Jenny, will enable them to be running along harder. And I'm just saying that she might get taken out of her uh, comfort zone um, in this race. Ten place to Carousel. Uh, I think this horse is uh, is a chance. I think um, things will suit her a little bit better in this race uh, to last start running second. I'm going to give her a chance. And the 11, C.O. Wolf, not good enough. So, look, uh, all in all, I've run through the whole field and pretty much I'm going to go with three units, the win on place to carousel and two units the win on Kovalika that's me bets for this week in the group one racing good luck happy punning and remember the Moya the fucking Moya <laughs> every time <laughs> oh that's I don't mind that giving, punting, us little, eh? giving us a little run through there <laughs> I like yeah there's plenty not good enough and then one mm. too old <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Oh, Does that beautiful. fill you up with more confidence now too, Tom? Fuck yeah, I like yeah. hearing that. Yeah, it's keto and, uh, you know, someone who's supposed to know. Yeah. <laughs> Blake trains them. Right, here we go. B2. Here we go. <laughs> Reggie's Group 1 Racing returns to Royal Ascot this weekend. Royal Ascot uh, does it. Time-honoured <laughs> Queen Elizabeth Stakes. <laughs> um, after last weekend's Herculean effort by Chain of Lightning at 25 to 1, I'm going to stick with the same formula. I'm going to have three units on the fave via Sestina. Her uh, her effort a couple of weeks back was fucking unbelievable. Had to be seen to be believed. She was un- unreal in her first up win in Australia. But uh, from there, I do like one a bit longer in the market. And uh, it's a horse that we've backed on the show before. 
Uh, he was my best bet for the Blue Bet Punters Club all in months ago. Um, and he was scratch race morning, but we ended up going on to back two winners on the day, including Sofrato. I'm going to have a unit each way, Kovalika. Oh. I really think this horse is getting to the right trip, and he's just been racing like a horse that's been screaming for 10 furlongs. Um, if Bia Sestina gets in any trouble and this horse gets the right run in the race, he will prove very, very hard to beat at the end of 10 furlongs. So, there are my bets for the Group 1. Three units, Via Sestina, a unit each way, Kovalika. Keep it stiff, lads. Happy punning. They got a long way to go to get to Royal Ascot, that's for sure. Mm. <laughs> that's oh. in England. 26 hour flight. <laughs> oh, I wonder what's happened there. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Big day. Why the Big fuck day. wasn't he chirping? He did oh, he look. gave it a, gave himself a little chirp. No, yeah, no, no, no catalog. I thought bark. it was gonna be full. Look, mate, I think he's got a bit on, you know, fucking drop the phone. Yeah, having a pull. Yeah, a bit yeah. on. Now he's using a Nokia <laughs> yeah. three thousand. <laughs> 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 there was a bit going on. We nearly didn't get his uh get his bets in. Had to run home and use I didn't the think he. Phone. I didn't think he wanted you talking on his behalf, G one. No, no. <laughs> Understand? I would have done it. Yeah, I know you would have. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely would have mentioned barbs. last week's win. Mm. That was a that was a uh, a nice bet. He nearly quinelled that race actually because he tipped. Oh, I wish I win and chain of lightning. Mm. Uh, just let's not talk about it. Let's be honest. Fucking certainty beat. <laughs> Still not over it. Still not over it. Oh, that's good. fair enough, too. Uh, righto. That's it, isn't it, for that segment? Yeah. Yeah. Righto, let's get into the old boys. I'm thinking, verse. nah, nah, because I've got girls. girls. I'm like, hold up a second. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. I've got redemption coming. Fucking oath. Jace got his. Yeah, yeah. I did. That's right. I'm due. Oh, beautiful. Did. You got I that win. Jew. Uh, I'm <laughs> letting the shoulders a bit loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. I'm not. I'm sticking with me same. Uh, I'm similar same to techers. Rain. Well, I've got I'm one due. multi that I'm very confident on, but there is one which is just the biggest loaded right hand swing, in nice. my opinion. <clears throat> nice. A big fucking look at the ground. Odds wise, it is a massive swing, but I definitely think it can come off. Yeah, well, that's excellent. Uh, let's do what we've tried to do the whole time and we'll go uh, <laughs> me, boy. then yeah. keto, yeah, yeah. you know, how it is. Mm. Just forget um, every time. Great little segment, this. This is going to be fun. We've sort of, we've, we've got a bit of a, uh, a th- of, oh, well, you kind of fucked it last week because mm. I wasn't expecting you to go a short price horse, mm. which is what I normally do. No, he, <laughs> by the way, got shot. Bro. <laughs> I Are know. you kidding? That like, was... I looked at that and went, what? Like, just. <laughs> Something's obviously going on. Is it alive miss. still? Uh, yeah, but something well, would have gone hammy. very, very wrong. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Because I was just like, wow. Yeah, like, man. you can tell him the jockey's just half standing up, just not even. Yeah. When they're just trotting on the straight, you just go. Did, it, did it finish? Yeah. It okay. Did, did, well, I think it just did then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it kept going through. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you, you actually did see it pass a lot because yeah. sometimes they pull them up on no, halfway. No, it, it did. Straight. It just was not one ounce. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. Like, no. There's something went wrong. Something went wrong. Yeah, I was so off it. It's all good. Anyway. Um, but so I've gone back to just what I know. Yeah, sweet. Well, we're in front. We got further in front. Obviously, Jace got about twenty-four unit win or something. Good on your like, it was twenty-six, but you had to put the units on. Yeah, that's right. So profit twenty-four was. profit. Um, I am gonna go. I oh, actually, I've got a multi. But it's, you know, it's $4.15, but it's a multi. Um, Morfittville, horse eight, uh, race eight, horse 10, <laughs> Benedetta, boys. Benedetta. <laughs> uh, she's way too classy for these. Benedetta. Sure. She, she just run fourth in a new market down the straight. Should It was the closest photo I've ever seen to her running third. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you can basically say placed in a new market, goes to Adelaide, surely – too good for these, and you're getting three dollars ten as we speak. And just because I want the odds to be over four dollars this week, I'm going to throw the Raiders head to head at a dollar thirty four because yeah. that's surely value yeah. Yeah, against the Titans in Canberra. Mm. Uh, and the two legger gives us four dollars fifteen five units on. Nice, nice. That is great. Just punting. a nice little yeah. fucking solid one for the group. Yeah. Absolutely, I've a horse a quick... that should be winning, and then the Raiders will win. Quick question: At what point? Do like owners slash trainers go, you know what, we've tried at Sydney and Melbourne because those are the two main ones. What point do they fuck them off to Adelaide or Brizzy? Um, I think. Is it just if it's like going shit and they're like, 
we've done our best on the East Coast. In Sydney and Melbourne, yeah. yeah. Well, you've got it. So some trainers have got satellite stables all the way up down oh, the coast. Yeah, so true. it's pretty good because you can keep it with the same trainer. But Because like, Benedetta was, has been up there in the last six months and then just – In has, Melbourne. Yeah, yeah but there's – um, Good racing in Adelaide coming up, though. Yeah, right. Oh, they've got group ones coming up. Oh, I copy. think this is a stakes race. <laughs> yep. So you'll quite often see Melbourne horses especially go over there because it's fuck all. Yeah, to get that's there, true. You know? That's true. Um, let me just have a look. Someone else, keep going there, and I'll just have a look because I'm fairly sure that this race at Morfittville, yeah, it is. It's a stakes race. So Righto. it's like it's it's a decent race. Yep. You've got the Adelaide, Port Adelaide Guineas, sorry, um, on. Uh, race six, and then you've got the Arara Aru- 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 Stakes and the R. N. Irwin Stakes. Copy. There. Yeah, I was just curious on what point because Benedetta. I remember. I think I backed it uh, a yeah. couple months ago as well, and I just went. At what point did they decide? You know what? You, whether you're too shit now, or are they just exploring other? Avenues, yeah, yeah. Well, that definitely obviously mm-hmm. happens, but no, it it might be um it might be getting prepped up for one of the group ones mm-hmm. over there. Yeah, copy, right? I keep an eye out for gets it. Gets in, gets in. Uh, well, well, I mean, what did it carry? It carried fifty-two in the new market, so it did have every right to run well. Mm-hmm. Um, got fifty-six on Saturday, but I just like I look at the field and go, well, that's surely an, it's fucking too. good That's what for I mean. These. If it's struggling a bit on in, like at Sydney and Melbourne, but it's against such good fields, oh. then it's. It's not that bad of a field, actually. Take him to Adelaide with a lesser field. You got Kalos, you got Q Man. Q Man won a Group One mm. fucking couple of weeks ago, so maybe it's not that bad of a field. But yeah, I think still full she confidence. Be yeah. Too good for them. I love that. Right, keto. keto. It's got to be this mark. Reginald, Reginald. no need to panic, Rocket Pedro. Let the lads bask in their little bit of glory at the moment whilst they can as it will be a very dramatic turnaround when it happens, and it's going to happen soon. Keto's blue bed old boy is about to expedite that turnaround with a two-horse multi, the win and the place. Let's go. Bendigo race nine, number 15, Tara Mansour. Yep, I had to no. back it because of Tara. Yeah. Second up in this golden mile and has been set for this race. Philip Stokes doesn't bring them over for nothing. Uh, $21 and 6 bucks a place. I'll give you the next one, then I'll tell you the winning bets. Flash of Dallas in the WA Derby. Certainty beat no. last start in oh. the Oaks. I'm still trying to get over it. <laughs> I backed her at $18 this morning, but I see she has shortened eagerly, and so she should. Currently $11 and three fifty. One unit the win, multi, $231. <laughs> and four unit the place, multi, at $21, thanks to Bluebet. Happy putting. Come on, the old boys. So he stayed away, but he has gone back to one that he knows, and that's that flash of Dallas. That mm. thing, honestly, was a certainty beat yeah. in the guineas. That was uh, he bet he uh, had a bet on the show in this segment, um, and I fucking got on it because I was like, I'm not, I'm not missing out here. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, run third, and mate, fuck me, should have <clears> won. Um, but so that's three bets now we've got in the uh, Golden Mile at Bendigo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone down to Tara. As uh, soon as he said it, I was like, oh, that's just pure omen. Foxy Frieda already in to 5 50 from $7. Someone has just absolutely launched that. <laughs> mm, just pounded it. Yeah. And um, he stayed away from his fucking yeah. manager. Surely that's a little listener one, though. You have to pump that up. Yeah, but maybe it's peaked. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did say peaked. You think he'd be day. all over it. Yeah. Because it's um, already, it's technically, it's already gone to its grand final in the yeah. Auckland Cup and won the cunt. So yeah, true. Yeah. Anyway, we'll um, see. Righto, I'm splitting these up to a couple of multis. I've even held back one that I always put in purely because I just think this fucking wins. This yeah. bet wins. We're going Seagulls versus Warriors. <laughs> I'm go. going overs. So over 41 and a half, I think that definitely happens. Over 41 and a half. And then I'm going DWZ and Tommy Turbo to score. I've left Hamole out. Right. If you want more value, put the cunt in. I have just left him out because I just think that bet happens paying six bucks. And I've got three units on that. Beautiful. Uh, now the next one, I'm having a, a bit of a swing, but it's not. it doesn't feel like one. I'm going Cowboys uh, 
Who are they playing again? Fucking eels. Eels. Yeah, I have no one from the eels in this bet. So <laughs> um, I'm going Cowboys to win. Cole felt to score two. I think wow. he scores a couple of meaties, and I'm going Jeremiah Nene. I think he's due. I always have been putting mm. him in, and he hasn't scored. I think he is due to score. So yeah, that pays fourteen bucks, and I've got two units on it. Nice, mate. Hope he's That's not uh... marking Sean Lane because if they target that kick. <clears throat> You got that big tower right there. No, I think Sean yeah. Lane's on on the left. He might be. Anyway, it's all good. I just think he scores. He's no, due. that's a great yeah. bet. That is a great bet. I'm just <clears> fucking <throat> nervous about Para for some reason because well, just, I've tipped him. Just never know. So, mm, but yeah, yeah I'm surprised, value try surprised there, there, there was sure. no uh, Raiders game there. Yeah, maybe you're. you're, you're no, I'll see it away man. from it. Uh, and no South. No South yet. Yeah, I put South earlier. Well, he had I had sharks to, you did too. To, to, to just drill the to, cunts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, look, yeah. I just think Morgan Harper just... Big harping on. He just mm. lets tries in for fun. Yeah, yeah. remember yeah. Talakai's game against him that time? How oh, it, it yeah. made... They were nearly talking Talakai up to being immortal. <laughs> after <laughs> that first, like, ten rounds <laughs> after he was best, the best player best in the Best half time. of footy ever. Yeah. Maybe look at who's defending. Yep. <laughs> so... Great call. Great call. <laughs> Did it happen again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, yeah, anyway, that's, that's me. That's good. Let's hear from Rocket. Punters, Queenslanders, Rocket Trophies, we're in to go. Here we go. Old boys versus the foreskin. <laughs> when things get hard, they disappear. <laughs> All right, we're off to the US Masters. We're on a four-leg multi on a top ten finish. The That's four players are John Rahm, Rory, the yeah. Sookie Fuck, McElroy, <laughs> Scotty Scheffler, and Tony Fennell, or Fennu. Five units at $25. Get on them, stay hard. Right, I'm just going to hope that that doesn't win because I, I'll, <laughs> we can give him the benefit of the doubt with golf because you can still bet on a top Monday, 10. Yeah. That's when it finishes. You um, can still bet on a top 10 finish. The day before, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Monday. The odds will just be the changed. odds will be completely different depending on. Where so they whatever are, comes obviously. up tomorrow, we'll just put it at those odds, or yeah. I'd well, say by so. tomorrow morning when the post is up, those odds could be completely different yeah. because who it knows? It could who be could better. Be leading yeah. on day one, someone yeah. shit the bet. So whatever, whatever they are when we post the thing, <laughs> yeah, we'll just, yeah, yeah. We'll just fuck it's it. like putting it on the tote. It's a, it's a good on him for going to the Masters. Though. I was tempted yeah. to do it, but I. St- Steered away from it due to it yeah. starting tonight. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. nah. But uh... I told you on Tuesday, I think Kepka's going to win. So that's my gripe a little each way. And anyone who uh, <laughs> says, oh, how come we couldn't do a Thursday night? Because fucking Rockets are part of the show. And he, yeah, just, he exactly. just knocked me out if I <laughs> was like, hey, man. That was shitty. Just shut up. Cunt. He would say, "Fuck so, off." Yeah. So we had no choice. We got no ball. We had no choice. He just does what he wants, and that's what he did. So. It's his show. <laughs> <laughs> You've handed it over to him. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Uh, right. Anyway, uh, good on you, mate. Good yeah, bet. Yeah. That is good bet. <laughs> Um, I am going to the <clears throat> UFC, like you mentioned, Tommy. Uh, massive yeah. spectacle. So I feel like I've got to have a little multi on this. First leg, I've got Oliveira to win. I think you're getting Ooh. a pretty decent value there. Against the young he's, guy. Uh, he's not done. I don't think he's done. Oliveira is still going to want to be a title contender, I think, at least. So yep. uh, starts here. And then I've got Gagey to win. I just think he's such a knockout artist, but Holloway is a fucking iron yeah. chin. So it's like, what even it's happens hard, there? Eh? But I think Gagey will just... They'll brawl, obviously. Yeah. It's baddest motherfucker title. Mm. There's no way these two don't go out there and just swing. But uh, I think Gagey will come out top there. And then uh, it's going to be conflicting because I've gone Pereira to win. That's good, though. That's yeah. great. Well, we'll get that leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone so will get that leg. One of us are going to win that leg. The but... show will win that leg. Yep. So we've both <laughs> gone Gagey. Yeah. I've gone points. You've just gone him to win. Yep. Yeah. So no, we're similar on that one. But, yeah, so it's just those three legs, and uh, it's paying $7.50, putting four units on that one. Here we go. It'd be Bad cool event. if it gets Bad to event. the main event. Like both oh, of yeah, still imagine alive. we both got the multis still alive. I'll Hopefully, be rooting for Jason's. Worse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just because it's old boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and then <laughs> for this last one, because I got up in the old boys segment last week, uh, I know we still aren't in the positives, but 
I'm just going to nah. give myself some room to swing here. Far from it. Four leg horse racing <laughs> multi. Back. And uh, it's at Randwick this weekend in some of the group ones. Here we Starting go. Starting off race six, orchestral to win. Mm. Race seven, Ash run to place. Race eight, Pride of Jenny to win. Ooh. And then race nine, Zugotcha to win. Oh, I was so hell. tempted to go Pride of Jenny to place, but I was, I'm that fucking confident it's going to win this. Righto. $58 odds, one unit on it. A tissue might win the ninth too. So you think a tissue's going to be Zugotcha? Oh, fucking it won it last year, this race. Yeah, did. Zugotcha just looks too good at the anyway. moment, I think. But yeah, honestly, that's why I'm not feeling like that's such a fucking massive swing. It's no, just it's the not. odds that kind of defer me I off. Think, but. Well, there's you got Orchestral, she's red hot. Mm. And then you got Pride of Jenny's second favourite, and the other two are... Uh, is it so how many gotcha is to win and then Ash from the place. Yeah, copy, well, I think copy, Ash from the place. Copy. I reckon Ash from wins. Yeah. Um, yeah, qu- yeah, nice. How much? What was the odds? $58. For a unit. One unit on nice, that. Nice, nice. So Sweet. worst case, that just gets up and we're in the positives with one unit on. I've had my uh, me six-legger on already. I've put it on already. Oh, nice. I think this is the first 30. show. This is the first punch show. Have we done a punch show before all in our jerseys? No. Well, no, we haven't. fucking... There no, we are. Go. Clean it's, sweep coming in. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clean up. Yeah, this fucking week. oath. Just a quick update. We'll just talk about the uh, the only important segment, <laughs> where we are fifty units up on the old boys. Oh, okay. Nice. Is that was that what was that again? Fifty. Fifty units up. Okay. On, up. Yeah. Like beating so them by fifty. Beating units. them by fifty. All oh, right. Still minus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but we're right. beating them. <laughs> <as a fuck. laughs> yeah. It's exactly 50. If there's two horses in a race, it doesn't matter how slow it is, Joe, as long as you're in front of the other <laughs> that's horse. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm a bit nervous about Keto's 213. Oh, oh, he's yeah. going to hit one one day. <laughs> Two-legger too, so it's not like outrageous shit needs to happen. Do you happen. remember when, like before we had the punch show last year and he would just go, who was that one fucking horse, um, Patri, what did it start with? Oh, El Patroness. <laughs> El Patroness. And he would just back that every week. I've got a $51 rough year, 24 yeah, yeah. We're like, well, what a fucking He used to idiot. just slam hinge. And then when he fucking had, <laughs> yeah. when he had his Hinged. first win, we went, fuck, he's, he's done it. Remember so, where it was? It was at Doom and Cup, man. Yeah, that's he had right. the first winner because he went 0 for 10. <laughs> and then One Doom day and Cup, he stopped the bleed. Uh, he stopped the yeah. bleed. That's right. <laughs> uh, what do we got, one Pedro? Uh, Pedro yep. still? Yeah, Pedro yeah, to yeah. wrap it up. G1P. G'day, Reggie's. Old boys versus young guns. Let's go. Let's make some money. Oh, no, I've got a six-leg multi <laughs> straight up to yeah. Carlton. A standalone multi. A six-leg multi. Oh, here we go. I'm going to whack three units on it. Harry Mackay, two-plus goals. Charlie Kerno, three-plus goals. Matty Owies, anytime goal scorer. Matty Cottrell, anytime goal scorer. Patrick Cripps, 20 plus disposals. Adam Chera, 20 plus disposals. Uh, thanks to Blue Bats, paying about 650. Very doable. Three units. I, I like it. And with my remaining two units, uh, no, it's not a big swing. It's a uh, three leg Broncos multi. Uh, Broncos head to head. Corey Oates, anytime. Nice. He's back out in the wing. And Ezra Mam anytime. Oh. Thanks, Bluebird. That one's about 650, 630, something like that. So, two very dual bets. I need a fucking win. <laughs> Let's go. Attack. So, he's gone nine legs in total, and they are all Carlton or Carlton players <laughs> in Brisbane and yeah. Brisbane players. He's both Wait, his teams. Six to what he, he knows. He's just <laughs> fucking backing them in. Fuck yeah. I don't mind that Broncos multi. Oatsy. Will be fucking firing back out on knowing the that he's back on the edge. So yeah, he's do you reckon? Probably good for do you reckon J One P wishes that he was doing what he was doing in the group one in this segment? Or at least share Ooh. around a bit. I reckon he. I reckon Why he the would. fuck doesn't he just back whatever he does in the group one? <laughs> just put that like at least one unit. <laughs> yeah, in you say that, boys. but he'll probably go a few weeks. Like he's due to have a few off weeks. Is he years, though? You know? Yeah, oh, fuck. Is we he said that, yeah. and now he's what ninety. <laughs> He's G1P. Yeah. He's G1P. He does what the fuck he wants. Yeah. yeah. He's not here to take part. He's here to take over. Take, <laughs> yeah. He's like taking the crowd. <laughs> yeah. He just does what he wants. Bets last night. Okay. Yeah. Good bet, mate. <laughs> Righto. Well, we had a win on the hounds. We did. And we that was fucking, awesome. Yeah. Uh, got some nice bets in. Yeah. 
Don't That's forget, right. 17th of April, we've got the jerseys up for sale at thereggies.com.au. Yep. Massive shout out to Bluebet. Download that app and you can fucking, I can't believe I'm saying this, but you can bet on me <laughs> and the boys here to yeah. win Unreal. boxing fights. <laughs> How good is that? How good. So that is true blue. Scoping out you can't do it now. anywhere else, obviously. So, yeah, just yeah. download Not Bluebet. Not yet anyway. I think you might be able to closer to it. But for, for now, I know that this, yeah. Yeah, fucking this is what you got. Yep. Absolutely. And it's um, the best. Yeah, yeah, it is the best. Fucking That's it. In. Righto. Well, uh, we'll see you on fucking Wednesday morning for the sports show, eh? Have a good weekend. Let's go. Harper.